Hey now. Hey now, hey now, hey now. We are live. Word out. Is that really a thumbnail? There we go, that's better. Okay. All right. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, EB, how's it going? So you know what you do is you carry a knife. I'm, I'm just continuing the conversation from Discord, right? A knife and pepper spray, and then when they're, like, you know, like, coming at you, you get out the knife and you spray the pepper spray onto the knife, and you go, yeah, come on, poison damage. You know, like in Skyrim, you know, where you would <laughs> apply poison to your blade. <laughs> Here, come on, this is really gonna fucking hurt. Come on, I've been wanting to try this trick, you know? Which also plays into the act crazy thing that you mentioned, right? It's like, come on, I really wanna try- Oh, thank you for disabling that. I, I wasn't looking at the thing. I'm, I'm still working on uh, posts and everything. The conversation was so good that I, I was, like, behind on everything, you know? All right. Uh, okay, let me go ahead. Wow, Charmin Nerd's on. I ain't seen her in a while. I'd love to rate her if she's still live when I'm finishing, although I kind of doubt it. All right, let me get all my posts out here. Nope, not that shit. Wrong channel. Oh, I'm trying to find anything. All right, there we go. Ha 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 ha! There you go. That's an that's an arming yourself animation that you won't see in the next Elder Scrolls game, right? Maybe in Starfield, right? Nice. I'm glad that person didn't get caught because he would have been in a world of hurt if they had caught him, you know, like on a plane, especially after 9/11, if it was after 9/11, which I assume it was. I mean, Facebook post. I've been looking forward to this game. This game is like kind of like low key really fun. I did look up a guide so that I can be aware of like what levels I need to be. I don't think that I'm gonna need a guide to know where to go or anything like that, but I did look up like what levels to be at and what areas. <laughs> yeah, right? That's why I said Starfield. <laughs> it's a big question mark. What do we know about it? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ugh, stupid sexy Bethesda. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Guide for the puzzle pieces? Ah, well. I guess, yeah. I didn't think of that. I really didn't think of that at all. I just mainly wanted to know, because people said that this can have some difficulty spikes. What levels to grind to in what areas? Apparently the area that I left off on, uh, that ice cave or whatever the hell it is, I should get to level 16 before proceeding. So that's like the first thing I'm going to do. You seem to level rapidly in this game, from what I noticed, which is good. I like when you have like this feeling of getting more powerful and it's not like too far between levels, you know what I mean? Because there have been some games where it's like you feel like you're stuck at a really shitty level for a really long time, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Fantasy Star is kind of like that. The grind gets real later. Oh, I'm sure, of course it should slow down, but... Like, early on, I feel like you should level up rapidly early on, you know what I mean? It, it, feel, it, it shouldn't be like, getting from like level 1 to level 2, or whatever the equivalent is, because some... Games are like, you start at level 5. I don't know what the purpose of starting at level 5 is, 
doesn't that make level five level one? I don't know, but um, like getting from the whatever level you start at to the next level should not take ten years or what feels like ten years, which I heard was the major major issue in Stargazer for the Famicom. Yeah, I kind of figured that since it's all about figuring out the combinations and since I unlocked almost all of them, except for the ones that involve Super Sailor Moon and Super Chibi Sailor Moon or whatever the hell. You know, hello, Gibbsy Noodle. Good boy today. But yeah. Yeah. And then all I have to do is just put in the combos for them, you know? Which, there's not that many. Just a few. So how are y'all doing? I had an interesting day. I woke up not feeling great. Allergies really hit me today. My back was hurting, but... Funny thing, remember... I don't know if you guys remember, but the other day I was bitching about the pharmacy. The Walmart pharmacy. They were giving me problems. And I'm just going to, like, briefly recap that. Because... Basically, I get I have the Prilosec that I take, which is a it's basically a prescription a prescription strength and acid. You know what I mean? That's really all it is. And um, Eternal Sailor Moon. That sounds like a version of East, like East Eternal, right? Do you become complete Sailor Moon? <laughs> Sailor Moon Chronicles. Um, but anyway, so the first time I was prescribed it, it was like I had three refills, right? It was like 45 pills and then like three refills. And then like at the end of that, when I was out, I called the doctor and it was a whole mess because the doctor was on vacation and whatnot. But, you know, since then, every time I run out, I just call Walmart now because it's a lot easier. I call their automated line and it says, this is out of refills. I'll please allow one business day to get authorization from the doctor. Then somebody at Walmart calls the doctor. They get authorization. It takes like one business day usually. And then boom, you're done, right? And then I'll call back like a day or two later and it'll say your order's ready for pickup. And I never have refills though. Like they never give me refills. So I have to do this every month and a half, right? So, um, actually it is Discord because at some point, you know what it was? I was, I, I'm going to fix this. I got to put, I got to, how do you get streamer mode on without coming out of slobs and coming back in. I got to turn streamer mode on. I turned streamer mode off because I was working on a scene and I wanted to hear notifications and I didn't close stream labs and bring it back up. Usually stream mode just comes on automatically, but there's a way to enable it. I don't want to watch a video on how to enable it. Just tell me what, where it is. Oh God. I ask like how to enable stream stream mode and I'm getting like this fucking Here's a video on how to do it. Just tell me where in the options it is, you fucking assholes. I'll look for it. Give me a moment cuz I don't want constant notifications to be coming through. Oh, well, I guess nobody's hearing me. I wanted to take the conversation from Discord and move it here, but y'all are just going to keep talking on Discord, I guess. <sighs> That's It's got to be in the settings somewhere. Uh, Cause I'm here. I shouldn't be hearing Discord, and I'm hearing it. Uh, profile safety. God. Oh, this is irritating. I have no idea where streamer mode actually is. The only way that I know to bring it up, uh, you know, is to bring up Streamlabs. <laughs> there is a way to do it. I just don't know. And there's like too many fucking. And I got to tell the story that I was telling. Shit. My account? No. User profile? No. Privacy and safety. You think that would be in there? It's not. Authorized apps? No. Connections? No. Server boost? Discord Nitro subscription? That's no, not going to be in there. Appearance? No, it, it turned on, but I had disabled it because I was working 
in Streamlabs offline and I needed to hear Discord was what happened. So I, but I, I, I want to find out how to turn it on manually and I don't know where that is. Appearance, accessibility. It should be a very easy thing to do, you know what I mean? And the problem is, is that when I Google it, I get like, here's a video and I'm just like, really? Wait, I could type slash busy? No, I didn't do shit. That didn't work. Oh no, that's a new world. <laughs> It says Streamlabs. Oh, Streamlabs. Discord, not Streamlabs. User settings, streamer mode tab. See, I'm not seeing that. User settings. There it is. I found it. All right. There we go. No more Discord sounds. Anyway, uh, so I. Why did the music stop? Oh, that was the end of it. All right, let me just play something else. Things are not going my way. I'm trying to tell the story. Okay, so anyway, um, usually what happens is I call Walmart. It says I'm out of refills. I never have re They never give me refills for some reason, right? And they call the doctor. The doctor says, like, yeah, yeah, refill, right? And then uh, it'll be there, right? So I called, like, a while back because I was running low on uh, Prilosec. And it was like, the same thing as normal, right? It was like, this is out of refills. Please allow one business day. And I'm like, okay, right? It was on the weekend. So I waited till like Monday to check it again. And it was still the same thing. It was like, this allow one business day. And I'm like, huh, that's interesting. Try it on Tuesday, right? Call them on Tuesday. And it says, um, a, pharmacy, a pharmacist of, uh, of, would like to speak to you about this. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, I press the button to get connected. I'm like, oh, what is this bullshit, right? I get this girl, like she answers and she's like, hello, please hold. And I'm like, oh, okay, right? Imagine them saying somebody would like to speak to you and then you immediately get put on hold. And I'm on hold for like a, like a while, like almost 10 minutes, right? And then she comes back and she's like, okay, I have a number for you to call. And I'm thinking like to myself, what the hell is, it's the morning, I'm in the kitchen, I'm making coffee. And I'm like, you have a number for me? All right, hold on. And she's like, are you ready? And I'm like, I'm in the kitchen making coffee. I'm not ready. All right, hold on. So I come in here, I get in the computer, I open up a text document and I'm like, okay, go ahead. I'm like, I don't know what this is, what she's talking about. And she goes, okay, uh, this is for the COVID testing, right? And I go, no. And she goes, and before I could even say what it's about, she goes, oh, oh, uh, please hold. And then she puts me back on hold. Then I swear it's like 15 minutes later and I'm still on hold. I'm like, fucking fuck this, right? Fuck this. I hang up. I call back. I get a completely different person. An adult woman this time, not like a teenager, right? So I explained the situation. I said, look, I called in the prescription. It's out of refills. They said they'd contact the doctor in a day. And then it was like three days later. And it's saying, it said the, you guys needed to talk to me about it. Since so she asked my name, my birthday, what medicine it is, all that. And she looks and she goes, oh, it's here. And I'm like, what do you mean it's here? She's like, yeah, it's ready to pick up. It's ready to pick up. Sleepless EG. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it, it seems to be a thing that's happening to us recently. Everybody's confusing us with other people and bringing up other people's files, right? So anyway, um, I'm like, okay, cool. I said, your automated system seems like kind of messed up. And she's like, yeah, it happens sometimes. So my mother was actually going to Walmart today. So she picks up my medicine for me. They have my credit card on file. So, you know, she comes home and she's got this bag and she's like, it wasn't just one prescription, it was multiple. And I'm like, I only have one prescription there. What are you talking about, right? I only called in one. Uh, it's actually Soul Blazer. Very close though. Actraiser and Soul Blazer have very similar music. It sounds a lot like Actraiser, doesn't it? Um, they gave, so apparently the first time I called it in, like on the weekend or whatever, they called the doctor and got approval, right? Filled the prescription and it sat there. The second time I called, they did it again. They called the doctor, they got approval. Nobody caught this error. So instead of 45 pills, I got 90. 
I'm set for three months now. Um, they, you know what? They don't use the same music, but you know what they do use is the same exact sound effects. Like, as a matter of fact, almost all the sound effects from Actraiser are in Soul Blazer. Uh, the music, I believe it's the same composer, and it's definitely the same sound font in those two games. Illusion of Gaia and Terror Enigma, a little less so, but I believe it's the same sound font. Hitomi would know more about it than I would, since she's like the musician, you know, the, that works with all this stuff. Yo, what up, Wayne? But, um... I, I it, it, Like, Soul Blazer and Actraiser have to... I mean, the, Yuzo Kashira worked on both of those, right? Let's see. Wow, no! Yuzo Kashira did not work on Soul Blazer? It was Yukihiri Takahawa... Doing an amazing impression of... See, that amazes me, right? Because it sounds almost exactly like Yuzo's Actraiser score. And that, that's almost like East, right? Because Yuzo Kushiro worked on East 1. He did all the music in East 1. And that's the only East game he's ever worked on. But that style remained consistent throughout the rest of the games. I, I would have I would have thought it had to. It's definitely the same sound font. I would have guessed same composer. That is... I had no idea. The dude's name is Yukihide Take, Takikawa, and apparently he's also a singer in a band called Go Diego. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were like, look, we're not going to pay for Yuzo Kishiro again, so hey, um, Yukihide, you're really good. Why don't you just do your best act raiser impression? <laughs> That's... Boy, I learned something today, huh? I would have assumed they had the same composer. I wonder what else he's worked on. Oh yeah, Clonopin I can understand. I'm, I, I take an antacid, you know? <laughs> well, out of all the games that this this guy's worked on, he hasn't worked on a lot, because he mostly does, like, his own albums and shit. But the only one I've heard of is Soul Blazer. Like, he did one called Sayuki, he did one called Genesis Climber Mas Pieta, and he did something called Chosinshi Flashman. I've never heard of any of those. Oh, Toshinshi Flashman is uh, connected to Super Sentai. Sayuki's an anime? Monkey? Oh, it's Journey to the West. Sayuki is monkey. So it's like one of the million animes that is based on Journey to the West, right? Yeah. <laughs> what is Japan's obsession with Journey to the West? The gayest interpretation. Oh my. Everybody getting some of that nasty stag monkey fucking, huh? Like, oh, Son Goku, give it to me. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I, I love this music and everything, but it's time to play Sailor Moon. Let's play that intro. I see where we can sit. I see where we could eat or possibly shit. I see where we could look at a lemon. I see the carpet. I don't see a fucking bed. What kind of fucked up house is this? I ain't even lying. I could watch this all day. Ah, <laughs> you suck. Dude, your hat is awesome, but what is with the rest of that outfit? You look like Uncle Sam, like, fucked a tomato. What is wrong with you? Oh, yeah, baby, my pants are so tight. That's how you do it. 
Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! What the hell? Oh my god, the guy spawned underneath me and lifted my ass up. Lifted me like Jennifer Grey in fucking Dirty Dancing. Sweaty parts were forced on you. My drill is cursed! Eek! Wait a minute, I don't want this guy forcing nothing on me! Oh, I'm so naughty. Stick your sword in my ass, Soma Cruz. I'm a bad... Hey, now! Uh, so he's kinda sorta a kid. Alright, well, everybody else can get... get gay with each other, I guess. Mm -mm. Alright. So... Let's get to level... What was it? It said level 16? Yeah, level 16 is what I wrote down. I'm level 11. Okay. I need to get out of this. What is the cancel button in this? It is not that button. It is this button. Oh, man. I don't need to speed it up. You, you go fast enough. Shakokai. Sure, why not? Ow, my body. Hey, I got a puzzle piece. Yeah. Like, regular speed. Fast. Ludicrous... Oh, shit. Ludicrous, oh, shit. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. That's where you say, oh, shit, right? First you say it, then you do it. You're right. Let's see what regular attack does. It uh, doesn't one-shot. All right. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if those all those voice samples are taken directly from the anime. I probably should use the speed up, though, for uh, speed grinding. They are? Okay. Do you recognize what episodes they are and whatnot? Makeup! What up, Sarah? Makeup! Is that what she's saying? Yo, she's slimy! What is this, Nickelodeon? Makeup! It does sound like makeup, you're right. Another puzzle piece. I'm getting mad puzzle pieces up in here. Every episode more or less. Oh, I got... Wait, it said something. Did it say that I leveled up? No, it didn't. I must have got an item or something. Wait, they do say makeup? Oh my god, I thought... I thought Sarah was joking. I thought you were joke. I honestly thought you were joking. This game is so weird. There's a level up. They should say level up when they... Level up, right? Oh, they just keep reusing the same animations and shit? That makes sense. It's cheaper, right? Alright, we want to get to level 16, and so we're going to use the speed up function. Ooh. Makeup! Yeah, I probably thought I heard her wrong, though, because it does sound like makeup, but I thought, ow, oh, there's no way she said makeup, right? There's no way, right? It's like when you're playing The Binding of Isaac and you fight Satan, and there's this sound sample, and it's actually saying Isaac, but it's backwards. But it sounds like saying Seinfeld. And ever since I noticed, isn't a puzzle piece. Ever since I noticed that it sounds like Seinfeld, I can't hear anything else. Oh, is in text? Oh, my bad. Oh. All right, there's another level up. So that's what level 13. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to level 16. Make up. Oh, that's not what I. Bubble spray. Why am I doing bubble spray? See, you remember things better than I do. I don't remember this shit. I remember the game being fun. I don't remember the little detail. I remember the basic plot. My god. This has a shocking amount of speech for a Super Famicom game, though. You know what I mean? I got an ointment. And these girls don't need ointment. They're very young. They don't have skin problems. Got another puzzle piece. Planet power, makeup, planet power, star power, crystal power. I didn't know, I, I know that there was one of the Sailor Moon shows had the word alarm clock? I guess that's for waking up. 
Um, one of the shows had Crystal in the title, like Crystal Warrior or something like that. Another alarm clock. I'm assuming alarm clock is to wake you up if you fall asleep in battle. Cock a doodle doo, bitch. An alarm clock and another puzzle piece. Yeah, this puzzle is gonna be finished mad quick. <laughs> To me, the craziest thing is that this takes place in the... I got a hammer? What does the hammer do? I gotta know what the hammer does. Does that also wake you up? You just knock somebody on the fucking face with it? A good whack will fix stone. Oh my god, what? Oh, it's just Sailor Moon Crystal. Oh, it's a remake! Oh, okay. I think I remember Gray or Tanya or somebody talking about it. And the level up. I am level 14, but we want to be level 16. What up? Hey, Moogle, how's it going? Hey, Moogle, Moogle! Mega! Boom. Alarm clock and ointment, okay. Actually, the thing said level 16 or higher. Level 16, I'll, I'll go with 16, right? Give me a number. Don't say or higher. If you wanted me to get to level 19, say level 19, right? Give me that crap. Another puzzle piece. How, how many, I mean, it looked like a pretty big puzzle, Pete. Yeah, I just got another one. But it seems like I'm getting them alarmingly often. Like, look at that. That's like maybe 20% filled in already. They got to put on their makeup and kick some ass, huh? I mean, they are adolescent girls, so, you know. Yeah, fish sticks are good, depending on the brand. Also, how you cook them. You gotta put the shits in the oven, you know? You can't, like, be microwaving the motherfuckers. You gotta make them crunchy. There we go. Another puzzle piece. Oh. Alright, one more level. My god. But I'm just imagining them like, oh my god, we gotta fight evil, let's put on our eyeliner, right? Oh, is it like the gratuitous English? I heard that in Japan, uh, young, not just young girls, but young people in general like to wear clothing with gratuitous English on it. They don't necessarily have to know what it says, they just like, they just think it looks cool. And that's like, sort of like, the equivalent of, like, douchey bros getting, like, Japanese kanji tattooed and they have no idea what it says, you know? Like, they'll tell, like, somebody, like, the tattoo artist will tell them, yeah, it means brave warrior, and really it means something like, you know, idiot white boy or something, right? But, um, but yeah, it's sort of the same thing. Like, they'll just get something that says something in English and wear it. And I mean, it could say it could say fuck asses, and they, they don't know, right? I mean, they probably know if it says fuck asses. But. <laughs> and I'll tell you why I think they would know if it says fuck, because uh, way back in the day, this must have been around 1996, 1997, because I was still living in New York City, and I was in high school, but it was it was shortly before we moved here, right? And. Uh, can't believe you bought this shit. <laughs> anyway, that's funny. Can't believe you bought this shit, right? That's great. I... There was this comic book store I used to go to, and 
they had manga, like, but this was like old school manga, right? And I'm, I, I never read manga, it wasn't really all that interesting. But they had this, these giant mangas, they, I swear the books were about this thick. And they were all like really thin. Pa it was like for like six dollars, you got like the Bible, you know. And I remember just leafing through it. I, I just picked one up and I was like, let's see what this is all about. And it was just, you know, I couldn't tell what the hell was going on because it's all a bunch of like Japanese teenagers screaming at each other and kicking each other's asses and shit, right? And but I I remember this. this did I just level up? Yo, all right, let me save it. There was this one scene. Where the and this girl is flipping off a guy like she's doing this, and, she's like, ah! and it says something in Japanese, but it also says "fuck" in English, and it was like with an exclamation point, and it was like "fuck," you know, and I was like, "Wow, that is the only English word in this entire thing, and it's fuck." So I'm gonna guess that Japanese kids know what the word "fuck" looks like and vaguely what it means. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea what this was. I just remember that there was a middle finger in it. Alright, let's see. Make up! No reason to not spam the abilities, right? Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, um... That's the reason- that's partly the reason that Link in the old NES games of Legend of Zelda had a cross on his shield. Um, wow, we found this guy mad quick, huh? It's like, originally, there was going to be this whole time travel plot, and it was going to take place in the real world, the Triforce was going to be computer chips, uh, and Link was supposed to be like, like a, kind of like a, what do you call him, uh, like a crusader type of character, and that's why he had a cross on his shield. But eventually they got rid of almost all of that, and the only, like, the only things that they kept in there was the cross on the shield and that there was literally a Bible in the game, which got boulderized to Magic Book in the American version. Um... So I got no time for you. I'm w busy working on my lunchbox. Excuse me. He's like, yes, I see you there, what? Okay. So yeah, I got no time for kids. Hello already. <laughs> Hello already. <laughs> She's all the way already. Okay. Huh? I know, right? Just take the medicine she had. It was probably I don't know. Maybe it was Pepto Bismol. She's she's like twelve. She doesn't know what it is. Would you happen to be Doctor Schwartz? The Schwartz is with you. And you see, your Schwartz is bigger than mine. There was crosses all over the original Final Fantasy, too. They got boulderized out as well. Mm, yes, I'm Schwartz. You... How did you get here? I walked. Mostly. There were so many creatures around here. Oh, yeah, I'm like a superhero or something, dude. Don't worry about it. Huh? Wait, now he's in love with her? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, this is going bad places. Heh heh heh. Hard emoji. Heh heh heh. And it's playing this goofy ass music. My dear, may I ask you how old you are? If you have to ask, she's too young. He's not in love, he's a perfect. I mean, that's valid. I mean, because, alright, like, I don't know how old these characters are literally supposed to be. But they did say middle school, right? Can't be older than like 12. Maybe she got left back and she's 13, right? She's 15 and she's in middle school. Oh my God, she let, got left back multiple times. She's not smart at all. Maybe middle school has a different meaning in Japan. They break it up differently. Cause I know in, in America, middle school is sixth, seventh, eighth grade, right? Middle school goes until you're 15. High school is three years. Oh, okay. It's interesting. I, I mean, still way too young for you, Mr. Gray Hair Beard Glasses Lab Coat. But hey, how old are you? If you have to ask, she's too young, okay? Huh? Um, you're 15. 
Excellent! No, not excellent! <laughs> oh no, oh, this definitely came out in the 90s. This definitely came out in the 90s. I'm going to be 60 this year. Not if you keep this shit up, okay? If you want to live to see that big six zero, you better stop hitting on this little girl. Oh. When's your birthday? Wait, let me move the mouse. What? September 10th. Why do we need to know this? Why is she... So then, my pretty. Please tell me we get to kill this man. You came in at a good time? June always comes at a good time. Ah. Wait, please tell me we get to murder this man. You're a Virgo, the virgin, aren't you? Bruh. This is sick. I wish Hitomi was here so she could tell me if this was in the Japanese script, but it it had to have been because he's advancing on her with heart emojis. Uh, yes. Hmm. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, his name is Barrett. Well, Ryo and I are... Uh, I came here for something very important. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. You sure are. I've always gone a little crazy over lovely ladies like you. Old habits die hard. You know, I know some people who would be very interested in the contents of your hard drive, sir. Good grief. What a pervert. Yep. Called it. Hmm? Speak up, dear. Never mind that. What did you want to tell me? That you're a sick fuck? In Keen's village, there's a boy named Hans. His mother is very ill. Oh, I see. So you want me to visit them, right? But the problem is... There are so many of these creatures waiting just outside the cave. Well, sucks to be you. Just give me some medicine and let me be on my way. Well, I made it here just fine. Doctor, why don't you come along with me? Don't invite him to come with you. This is... The whole time he's going to be trying to get upskirt photos. What is wrong with you, kid? I'll escort you to Keens. And then I'll escort you to hell. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I'm going on a date with this pretty girl. You know, whatever helps you sleep at night. It's been ages. I bet it has. Yeah, well, that, that happened. Let's see if there's anything around here. I found a sapphire ring. Wait, the little baby is like a hundred years old? Why does Japan do this shit? His nuts have a date with steel-toed boots? No, his nuts have a date with a vice. Or a wrench or something. Steel-toed boots, that seems a little quick. Quick, we need to draw this out. Sapphire ring, though. Um, I don't see it, though. Oh, there it is. Uh, drastically raises attack, also brings up defense. Speed goes down a little, evade goes up. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I remember you telling me that she's Usagi's daughter. But how, it, daughter from the future. So she's like negative somewhat years old. How is she 100? Wait, is there a purpose to go in this way? It's dangerous deeper in the cave. No way I'm going in there. All right, stay your ass behind. I guess I'm not going in there. All right. I, you know what's sick is that that whole scene was probably supposed to be hilarious. Like, ha, ah, he's a pedophile. You know what I mean? Yeah, this was definitely made in the 90s. Did I really have to get to level 16 just for that? I guess it's just good practice, though. I guess we'll be go back to Keen's village. Angie. Yeah. The 90s were wild, man. I tell you what. Oh, so she's the immortal daughter from the future. Okay. 
Fuck out of here. Wow, wait, hold on, 741 damage? I just noticed that that was a shit ton of damage. Get out of here, you bother me. Oh my god! Anime was a mistake! Oh my god. Oh, so they added that to the anime, huh? So if they ever did the live-action Netflix version, she'll probably actually marry her dad, right? That's what'll happen. Still a better love story than Twilight. Hey, what's up? All right, what was the house? I think it was over here-ish. Is it this one? Mm -mm. No, it must be. Hey, I brought this pervert bit back with me. Dr. Schwartz, so thank you, Mercury. Doctor, we've been expecting you. She's over here. Oh my god, you're right, you did tell me that, I forgot about it. But I'm saying if they did like a Netflix version, right? Your dad said something misogynist. I mean, I'm not gonna say kick him in the balls, because he's your dad. But maybe just like a, a flick, you know what I'm saying? Just like, like, come here, come here, flick, you know? Ow! You know, it's just enough to hurt. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm mm mm. This is quite severe. She's in urgent need of some hail spring. Huh? Hail? But the skies have been clear lately. No, lad, hail spring moss. Yeah, then you should have probably should have said that. This plant is the only cure for this very rare disease. But I don't have any of it on me. You see, you, you see, Mercury, and you were gonna give her like a Tylenol, right? Dangerous? How is that dangerous? Wow, that one example clearly settled the debate forever, right? But I don't have any of it on me. Oh, I see. My pockets are filled with sexy manga. Where could we harvest some hailspring? Behind my lab is a small cave. Hailspring can usually be found growing there. Sounds good. I'll grab some and speed right back. Yeah, get it? Speed? Because she's Mercury. Yeah, we gotta find a cure for monochrome. Hans, it's dangerous out there. I can go and get it. No, man. Yeah, he could fuck all the way off for that stupid shit. Yeah, that story has no meaning. To, to you or anybody, really. But I can't let a girl like you go out on your lonesome. I see. Well then, let's go together. We are now dating. All right, and thanks. Okay, Dr. Schwartz, we'll be right back with the Hailspring Moss. Of course, your mother will be in good hands while you're away. You watch where you put your hands around this guy's mother. Thank you, Doctor. I'll never be able to repay you. You have my deepest gratitude. Yeah, that's a, how old is Maisie, just out of curiosity. Let's go, Mercury. Since Chibius is your favorite character, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, uh, seeing what this character is like. Okay, so here's the thing, though. If she's 12, she probably already knows your dad's full of shit. Right? Yeah, old enough to know he's a fuckwad, right? If she's 12, she knows that he's just blowing smoke at his ass. All right, so we got... Wait a minute. So he's like, go get the glow spring moss from the place that I told you not to go earlier? Okay, let's do it. But how, I, I would want to know in what way thinking that is dangerous. I might find her annoying. We'll find out. It'll be interesting. 
Sometimes characters that are supposed to be cute and adorable I find annoying, and sometimes characters that are supposed to be annoying I find them to be fucking hilarious. Yeah, but she was like laying on the ground not saying much. Wow, so strong. Totes apple male for real, right? You got nothing to apologize for, ran away. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. Like I said, some characters that are supposed to be annoying I find funny. Some characters that are supposed to be funny I find annoying. It's... It's a delicate balance of life. Yeah, we got, we got rants for days. Another fucking puzzle piece. I feel like I should have re reached the cave already. Wait, this is different. This is not the right place. Shit. Atlas shrugged and then shitted and farted. I think I passed it. I wasn't paying attention. I was like looking at the chat and shit. Shit. Oh, definitely Grey would want to see. Grey's a Sailor Moon fiend. Yeah, here it is. I, I know, I was thinking about it in the shower too. I'm like, Atlas shrugged, and then shitted and farted. I don't know why it's so funny, it just fucking is. Wait, this is a save point there that I should probably use. Hyper Viper Beam! Oh, I was gonna ask you about that because a lot of people have been talking about Spotify wrapped, and um, you, you're like one of the few people I know that has Spotify. So what's like your number one artist of the year? That makes sense. But what's your what's your number one artist? Mm -mm -mm. I can't have music playing when I'm trying to sleep because I'll just be like too into the music. Sapient dream. That sounds cool. Yeah, like, but he's from Florida. Oh, right. Yeah, you know, it's gators and meth heads, and you, you need a gun. Disney World, you know. God. I, I can't believe the walk speed in this is already... The walk speed in this is the run speed in most RPGs. Look how fast you walk. And then this is the, the slowest of three speeds that you could move. Like, I'm walking because running and sprinting is just too fucking fast. Like, that's already too fast. And then you have the option to move like that. It's the hail spring. I thought he says it was really dangerous back here. Like, the same dumbass enemies. Oh, yeah, that would help. But, like, music, I would just be too busy trying to hear it, you know? Just a little further. Ah! Hans! Hans, are you okay? I'm alright. But what about the Hailspring Moss? It's literally sitting on the ground right over there. It fell. It's moss. It's fine. There we go! Heart emoji! Uh? <laughs> well, if you do, that would be funny. Let us know, right? Oh, yeah, I remember you were very sad about that, Jim. Could that be? It's Zoicite's Lightstone. Wow, what's happening? It's an earthquake. A very quiet earthquake because I accidentally 
leaned on my uh, volume control. Ah, the lightstone! I wonder where it wound up. Down that hole! But I should give Hans's mother the Hailspring Moss first. Or should I? Go back to Hans's mother now? No, let's get the stone now! I have to focus on my mission and retrieve Zoocyte's lightstone. It's somewhere down that hole. You made it to the weekend, yeah! It doesn't seem stable. Don't get too close. But the stone! It, oh, it's Zoysite? Okay. Ah, G.I. Joe! Blonk. Mercury! Are you okay? I'm fine. Hey! Where's Zoysite stone? That's so weird, Zoysite. I'll go with it, though. I believe it's mine now! You could tell I'm evil because of my hair. Hmm. Who are you? Is there any point in giving my name to someone who's going to die? Who on earth is that? Hans, you've got to run. Run where? Well, what about you? Don't worry, I'm a total badass. You've got to go, quickly. Okay. I'll just be going this way now. No matter what happens, you leave Hans alone. There's plenty of time to kill him later. It would be senseless to waste my strength on anything else right now. After all, my mark is you, Sailor Mercury. I'll end you with my own two hands. Aye. Nabu! Ugh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Good god, that sprite is like 80% leg. Uh, uh. Let's see, let's, let's do this. Ooh. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> that was so fucking easy. I got a moon shard. Wow, that was, nothing happened, holy crap. Hmm. You're powerful. I see. Anshar did warn me about potential obstacles. Yeah, there was one kick. Me kicking her ass. Anshar. Is that the name of your leader? You think I'd just tell you? Figure it out on your own. For the sake of our cause, I'll kill you. Why are you doing this? What is your goal? Our goal? How is she going to kill me? I splashed her with some water and she lost. Our goal is... Trying to take over the world. Relying on the power of the silver crystal. Is that really what's best for the world? True, its power is miraculous and mystifying. Our goal... Our goal is booty. Whoa. Booty. But it has no basis in logic. I can't help but wonder, can we really entrust the world to a power beyond scientific analysis? Nerf! What up, Wayne? Hear me, oh troubled ones. That's this one's voice, I don't know why. Yeah. Uh? Dookie Nookie. Who said that? Your faith in the silver crystal seems to waver. The silver crystal? Y yes. Its bountiful powers cannot be denied. Yet miracles are ephemeral. No one knows how long they might last. Precisely what I've been thinking lately. This blonde person hasn't said a word yet. Yes, miracles could never last for eternity. I have been seeking people such as yourself. Naboo, lend your aid. 
Together we shall analyze the power of the silver crystals. I wonder if it truly is nothing more than a miracle. All right, I accept. And my blonde friend can just stay there. Wait, I'm blonde. Ugh. Our goal is to claim the silver crystal for ourselves. This time I'll crush you. Oh, we fighting again. Uh, 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 uh. I'm guessing she's a little tougher this time. Toxic mist. She farted. And shitted and farted. That's a lot less damage. You missed. Hmm. Maybe I should do a different attack. Gives this in the game, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Do I have items or? No. Nope, that's defending. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it! Yeah, but she's like 80% leg, and I don't think she she's not one of the magical girls. She's one of the villains. There we go. I need to get rid of this poison. It's fucking me up. Cure enchantment. Oh, all cure. There we go. Why not, Kizara? Why not? Do I have anything to replenish magic? Or let's see. No, I don't. Okay. Let's just start attacking. Oh, Jesus, Wayne. Yeah, but I don't have any, so. <laughs> My body! Better use another item. Welcome back, EB. Hi, Gibbsy Noodle. What's funny is in the first fight, I one-shot at her. But now she's actually putting up a fight. Eat my... Wait, why is it only giving me 30 hit points? I thought it was supposed to be... Oh, oh that's why. I'm like, wait a minute, this Onigiri hits differently. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! I hate that it remembers the exact thing that you did. I mean, sometimes that's useful, but not always. Fuck out of here. Ball pack. It's where I keep my balls. I've got balls of rice. God, this poison is really kicking my ass. And the thing is, like, every time I, um... Every time I use the cure thing, she just repoisons me, so... Oh, God. Alright, let me try that again. Balls, 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 I got no balls to bit my balls. Wang a chang chang, I got no wang, dog bit my wang. Oh my. Just 
to be good at things that live in your head red free, right? Got her! Lay, I win. How could oh how could you withstand my attack? Such tenacity and all the Zoisite stone. I'm exhausted. Letting you take the stone should pose no threat. But know this the other sailor soldiers will fail in their missions. Nurgle will obliterate her target. Garfield? No one has ever bested her. You'll never restore Tuxedo Mask. I take my leave for today, Sailor Mercury. Wait! See you later, shitlords! She's gone! Her name is Nabu? What a powerful enemy. You got Zoysite's Lightstone! Mercu Mercury! I was standing here the whole time! Hans! Why did you run away? Why didn't you run away? Uh, I'm not smart. Uh, I was really worried about you. You're sweet, Hans. Heart emoji. Oh, uh, Rio's got some competition. Okay, we really need to get back to my mother. You had to bring your mother into this. We were having a moment. Thank you. Because of you, my mother is better now. She's no longer monochrome. I am really am in your debt. No, no, I cause you lots of trouble by dropping in out of the blue. Uh, Thomas. With a T-H-O-M-A-S. I completed my mission, so consider us even. Farewell, Hans. Mercury, please come back sometime. I will, someday. That never happened, right? Hans' mother was cured. And I got Zoysite's Lightstone. All's well that ends well. Wait! Oh no, not him again. Oh no, I know with music what's gonna happen. Hi, Dr. Schwartz. I love you, Sailor Mercury. Listen here, you fucking nimcum fucking poop. You don't love shit. Will you marry me? Dude, she's 15. You're asking. You just met her anyway. Ah, pervert. Amy has retrieved Soy Sight Stone. Write about it in the diary? I guess I should. Oh, god damn it, that is not the save. I guess we're playing as Mars next. Well. That was something. So this is the village of Lhasa. The stone Mamoro needs is somewhere around here. You're gonna love you, marry me. Like, dude, really? And she told him she was 15 and he's like, yes, that's good. Huh? That was... There's no doubt about it. That was a surge of evil energy. It was just a surge. It's that soda that was popular in the 90s, right? Where did it come from? Wouldn't be an SNES RPG without some creeper? I don't know. I could name several amazing RPGs on the Super Nintendo that don't have pedophiles in them. Not it from in here. Who are you? And not from this guy. Wait, who are you? Something's wrong with this temple. The decor is ugly as fuck. Time to investigate! Mm. Chapter 2, In Search of the Stones, Sailor Mars. She's got stones, 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 stones of Mars, 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 Mars. Wait, can I explore the village though? Let me save it, but yeah. I, even though I literally just saved it, might as well. 
Ray versus Ray from Evangelion. I think. Huh? Some kind of force is pulling me in. Ah, uh, the force of gameplay. All right. Ludicrous speed. Oh, anything here? No, no. Oh, okay. Ray Hino? Uh, I think you mentioned that once, that that proved that Batman watches anime. Oh, it's a duty in that one. You know, for Temple giving off evil surges, you figured there'd be some enemies or something. It was this. The evil energy came from this jewel. But why would such an evil thing be in a holy temple? Hey! What are you doing there? It's forbidden to enter this room. I'm just a tourist. I was admiring the beautiful gem on this altar. Anyway, I'm all done here. Lots more sights to see in Nepal, you know? Stop! Your intent is plain as day, trying to steal our precious Gemidus Ruby. You will pay. These monks are angry. Destroyer! Okay. Let's see. Uh. Wow, that seems powerful. But let's do this one. She sure is a flamer! Wrecked. And I got a puzzle piece. Those were monsters? Why would there be monsters in here? Those are clearly people. Hey, you there, what are you doing? Why is she wearing high heels? Not very superhero. And of course there are more. By coming to this holy place, you have committed sacrilege. For that, you must be punished. I better get out of here. Huh? Uh, what the? I can't move my body. What? It's that jewel. They have to be monsters because she can't kill humans. That, that's fair. <laughs> now, attack. Oof. Ha, perfect. You sure pushed her slightly. I'm done for! Huh. Can't even think straight. I'm sorry, everybody. That's enough. Who goes there? Sudden blonde guy. Gwah! Are you okay? It's Terry Bogard. Are you okay? Uh. Jadeite? I, I haven't gotten your stone yet. Wait, you're not. Who are you? My name's Phaleg. What's yours? Mars? Oh, come on, your name's not Mars. My name is Sailor Mars. That's not better. Yeah. Power wave! It's dangerous here. Let's get outside and fast. Ugh. I guess you're dragging her out. A rising taco! Where am I? Are you up? Clearly not. I got worried after you passed out. This is my house. Oh, I see. Dude's got hella books. Thank you very much. Listen, I have some business at the Elder's house. Please rest until I get back. Blankets made of straw. It looks like the blanket's made out of carpet. Or the carpet's made out of blanket. For a moment there, I thought that Phaleg looked like Jadeite. But I must be imagining things. Let's talk to people. Lord Jadeite was said to possess a very powerful stone. 
Even if his body was destroyed, his soul would live on within, within it. Why is she wearing high heels? You can actually see it in her sprite. Holy shit. Come here. Welcome to Yaga Village, where we strive to keep our souls pure and kind. Because she's a high femme? What is that, like a level 3 femme? You get to a certain level and you have to wear high heels, right? No, I already talked to you, didn't I? The atmosphere in this country is very thin. An outsider like you should be wary of this. First, prepare your soul by calming your breath. No, Uranus does not. <laughs> I'm messing. I know it's Uranus. I've been reading a lot of soup recipes lately. I'm going to make a soup that puts a smile on everyone's face. 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 Wait, so you're making tomato soup? Shit. Got him. Hey, you. What's your problem? Felix is the grandson of the village elder. Not much of a resemblance, though. He doesn't look like a withered old guy at all. I love when I had set it up. I, 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 There was a reason that I reversed the background. I forgot what the reason was. It wasn't important. I just thought it looked better like that, probably. Because of what shows. I don't know. I think the characters on the other side were too short or something. And you were like, did you purposely make it so the lesbians are showing? And I'm like, I don't know which characters are lesbian. I, I know nothing about Sailor Moon. That's a save point. Might as well. Damn it. So the fact that only the lesbians are showing is a coincidence. I had no idea. I'm all for it. I just didn't know. One must take great pains to maintain the nobility of the soul. Also, why did you walk up to me earlier and say, not from this guy? Could I become like Lord Jadeite? Oh, so I guess Jadeite. So that, because she thought he looked like Jadeite, so he must be Jadeite's grandson, even though the other person said there's not much of a resemblance, that person's clearly an idiot. Good. And evil. Sometimes it's hard to tell the two apart. No the fuck it isn't. But there is only one truth. If I master my soul's eye, I shall understand, just like Lord Jade I'd always said. Yo, what's up? Felix is running an errand for the Elder. He should be back soon. Hmm? Are you feeling better now? You're the elder of this village, Yaga, right? Because of you, I'm feeling much better. There's a good question, I guess. You have my thanks. Jeez. What was a girl like you doing in there anyway? What does that mean, a girl like me? You know, I'm not some helpless poor little girl. But thanks for your help, I guess. I apologize on behalf of my grandson. He bears you no ill will. I understand, but... Well, I guess that's not Jade, I don't know. Young lady, could you tell us why you're here? Someone important to me is very sick. I need a special stone called Jadeite so he can recover. Hmm. Feleg, have you ever heard of such a stone? No, but maybe we could ask the high priest at Takra Koop Temple. The, um, temple of Tukla Koop? That's where I found you. Gah, there? I never wanted to go to that place ever again. There were these weird bald guys and I fell down. It was terrible. But I have to, don't I? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it doesn't sound made up at all, right? Um, you're kind of standing where I need to go. Uh, yep, yep, you're still in my way. What the heck are you doing? Trying to stop some girl from walking off alone, I guess? I'm not exactly your ordinary girl. If you've really got to go, then I will too. 
I'll be- it'll be- it'd be just as dangerous for you. They're stronger than you think. Yeah, you're a stubborn one, aren't you? I don't know, he ripped through them pretty easily. That's all well and good, but... Do you even know what the High Priest looks like? I don't know, bald? I... Uh, guess you have a point. Fine, it'll be dangerous, but you can come along. Oh, jeez, you just have to do things your way, huh? That certainly happened. Don't overextend yourself. Take care, Phaleg. I'm Mars. It's more anime game time with Necro VMX. Hold on to your butts. Everybody grab somebody's butt. Preferably your own, but grab whatever butt is within reach. Leaving already? There's no need to rush, you know? Yeah, I'm in a rush! <laughs> I'm so going to rush. So wait, am I not in the same village that I was before? Even if one's soul is noble, it must also be strong and believe in itself. When that is attained, no evil can leave it astray. Hey, an item shop. No running in the halls. Don't tell me what to do! Welcome! Yagasi. Just looking at what we got. Wear it for pretty lips. I mean, that is literally what lipstick is for, but what the fuck? Wait, does she have any um, defensive stuff on right now? Let me look. She has nothing! Oh, wait, wait, there's an earrings and an anklet there, though. Hey, nothing wrong, local lives matter. Oh. Man, get something better here, though. Welcome. Wait, she had two things. I'll get the other thing. Well, the lipstick looked like an... A magic point refilling thing, but she's got anklet and earring. Okay. <coughs> Let's get the tiara. All right, that's a big boost to defense. I should probably buy some healing stuff too. I mean, I got plenty of money. Yeah, get like... Get like a gang of these. How many can I carry? Ten, I'll get ten. Get some lipstick, too. I didn't really buy much items in the last thing, so... Yeah, get a bunch of these all cures. Alright, no... No, oh, hold on. There's an alert blocking the chat. There we go. There we go. Hella money. Cash. Alright, so my notes say level 12. I'm level 6. So I'll try getting to level 12. I don't know. Oh, okay. There's battles here. All right. I'm like, I don't know where there's battle. Game Sen. Sure, why not? Bird. Wow. That. Oh my God. The damage they do. Right, hold on. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me save it. Cause holy shit. Yo, Sailor Mars is hella weak right now. Oh no, I'm going to die. That's why I saved it, so then I can, like, run away. She only as far as they put her against enemies that resist fire. Okay, so... Like, Mars is, like, the god of war and shit. Does that make her physically... Is she physically strong? 
Maybe I should just attack those enemies. But let me go stay at the inn and heal up. I gotta find this inn. There it is. No wonder it's like, yeah, you should get to level 12. Yeah, hella weak right now. Every time I stay at the inn in this game, I feel like I want to race in Mario Kart. She's this... Well, okay, in canon, I guess, but I meant in this game. Is she, like, physically strong, I wonder? Well, let me look at her stats real quick. Her attack is 19. I don't know if that's good or not. But apparently, you're saying the enemy's out here resisting... Fire. Maybe I should just attack. Here we go. Game sent in Avogadora. Well, let me try... This, maybe? Oh my god. Burning Mandala! That's a little better. Oh my god. She's just weak is what it is. Oh, it just... Hold on. I just want to know if I lost progress. I did. Alright, hold on. Alright, there we go. Well, that sucked. So I gotta be like... Mad careful here. Alright, one enemy. Let's try this because it's a single strike and it Mars Snake Fire. Twenty-four. Alright, attack. Eight. Alright, we got him, we got him. We killed one. Oh, it's gonna take a very long time to level up if this is what we're up against. Is this the first of those major difficulty spikes that you alluded to, EB? Because holy crap. First place! Welcome to Mario Kart! Oh, damn it. There's holy crap only. It was so easy with Sailor Mercury. Alright. Alright, she leveled up, so that should make things slightly less terrible. I still gotta go run back and heal, because I still took a chunk off of her. This is not my first rodeo. Level the fuck up! I wonder when it was when I first started saying level the fuck up. I think it was one of the Castlevania games back when I was doing YouTube playthroughs. Because it feels like something I might have done in, like, Symphony of the Night, you know? Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. Things have become tolerable now. I'm gonna be saving... It was Symphony of the Night? Yeah. Three Simba Treacherous Twins. <laughs> well, in Symphony of the Night, he could have a threesome with Richter and Maria, I guess. Orange Julius! And level the fuck up! What is a man?! You know, I could actually probably do that whole monologue at the beginning from memory. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was drawn here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same can be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. 
Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? See, I told you I could do the whole thing from memory. I right, now I'm out speeding them. All right, now it's gonna be easy. So what level am I? I'm level eight. We wanna get to level, what did I say, 12? Yeah, 12. Orange Julius. My phone's going berserk. Welcome back, E.B. Oh, it's Twitter stuff. Whoa! It's like a feel-good that you want them. Mega, mega, mega! <laughs> Level the fuck up. Hanokin! Leveling up really feels like it makes a difference in this, too. That orange Julius. And I got a puzzle piece. Let's see if there's any interesting Pokemons around here. My Pokemons, let me show you them. Level the fuck up. What's level at, 10? That is 10, okay. Orange Julius. I know it's orange juice, orange Julius is funnier. We've gone from doing 12 damage to doing over 100. I got a life crepe. I assume it's a healing item, but a crepe. Look at you unwrap the crepe and there's life in there. There's a fetus in this crepe. What is going on? Resurrect in battle, heal 300 hit points. Okay. Well, there are Pokemons. They're not all that interesting, though. Fetal Crepe and other albums by Zombie Sneak Attack. The bacteria on the crepe digivolved? I gotta catch at least one Pokemon since I opened it. I'll catch us. Okay, Stunky. Ooh. And I got a puzzle piece. I knew you meant that. Yeah, I caught it. Transfer and close the game. All right. Hadoken. May? Who's May? What are you talking about? Goddamn Odo Cucumber. Another puzzle piece. You're like, speaking of Pokemon, May's. Wait, May, for, May is in Pokemon. Uh, Ruby Sapphire? Okay, yeah, yeah. Haruka? Mm -hmm. I thought you meant a character from this game. I was confused. Another puzzle piece. Now this puzzle's gotta be like, pretty filled in. Look at this shit. Haru means spring. Okay, makes sense. Uh, we need one more level up. I mean, level the fuck up. Sailor Uranus is Haruka? Okay. 
Orange Julius and a puzzle piece. And another puzzle piece. I wonder if sometimes you're getting the same exact puzzle, like you're getting redundant puzzle pieces or something. I just seem to be getting puzzle pieces a lot. Life crepe and puzzle piece. It's so many healing items just from killing enemies, too. Yeah, remember when we were doing 10 damage? <laughs> that was a long time ago. It was only five minutes ago. Of course. Yeah, I did find like two hidden ones last week, so maybe I'll find them all. Who knows? That's why I've been checking everything. Y'all did say that the reward for getting them all is like a really good reward. More orange Julius. Practically mandatory to beat the boss, final boss. Damn. Level the fuck up. So it's like the uh, the ball of light in Dragon Quest Three, right? All right, let's stay at the end, save, and then we're gonna continue onwards. That's not the end. Get out of my way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. I'm so like stuck on the Duke Nukem voice now. Welcome to Mario Kart. Oh, wait, wait, save, 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 save. <laughs> oh, bless you, Gibbsy. Dookie Nookie. Duke em. <laughs> mm -mm 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 God, that is just actually too fast to deal with almost. Wait, wait, where's the exit? Ludicrous speed! Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh. Up yours! Who would pair with Nukem and Double Dash? Doom Guy. Imagine the conversation of Duke teaching Doom Guy what sex is. You know, it's when you're with a woman and. Or maybe a guy and Doom Guy's just like, what's a woman? Is that some kind of demon? I only know, I only know demons. Man, you've really got to get out more. Some other obsolete 90s character? Sonic the Hedgehog, then. Oh, I mean another town. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? It's money. I have money. Take my. Shut up and take my money. Mm. All armored ga game characters erased. Doom guy, Master Chief, Samus. See, I figured. Like, see, Samus. I said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. Samus doesn't fuck. She just uses other people's bodies to masturbate. You're just a tool for her to get off, that's all. You're not having sex with her. There is no affection involved. That's true, yeah. Nothing going on here. This must be the town that I started in. Long ago, an underground temple stood around here. Or so tales tell. I haven't seen the High Priest as of late. It's amazing how everybody speaks English, or I guess Japanese, in Lhasa. You'd think they would be speaking some other language, but no. That Phazon is a real clam jam. Have you come to pray at the temple as well? Something like that. Right. Ride that D until it falls off. Do you need an escort on your way to the temple? No? Very no. It's dangerous outside the village. Many friends are one 
How many fiends are wandering about these days? Duke would not survive that encounter? No, he would not. Hey, I heard you're a chick under that suit. And she points her blaster at his crotch and, Okay, I get it. No means no, I'll see you around. <laughs> you're dressed rather... in rather interesting garb. Why, you, you want to borrow this dress? Try, I got like a closet of these at home. You can borrow one. Thank you. Like, take it easy. The only attraction to this little village is our temple. Welcome! You did? That would be kind of cool if it wasn't for the whole Final Fantasy house thing, right? Toilet! Wait, hold on. Okay, so we got... Rice Ball, which is a really weak-ass, whack-ass, lame-ass, head-ass healing item. Loss of Drop, which is a slightly less shitty healing item. Box Lunch, decent healing item. Lipstick, this require this it, you could wear it for pretty lips, but really it's for replenishing magic, right? Toilet heals something? Uh and it's got a heady aroma. And it's also fifty eight hundred where everything else is like less than a thousand. And you're like, okay, this is like you know your your panacea item and then with some accessories, right? What the fuck is toilet? And why is it so expensive? Oh, Jesus. I guess, yeah, that's all sorts of wrong, isn't it? Sounds like they were just being shitty. Which, surprise, surprise, right? Toilet. This heals... Something I don't fucking know. Come here. Hello, are you in need of directions, young lady? Yes. Have you been to Takrakub Temple yet? Let's say I haven't. There's a strange statue inside that never used to be there. Perhaps you should see it. Oh, it's an ultra elixir, basically? Yo, let me go get a couple of those. I didn't know toilets were that badass. I mean, toilet. That sounds like something that would be worth hanging on to. You have, like, bag of sharing in this, right? If she buys it, I'll have it later, right? Let me get, like, two of them. Yeah. Can't afford room then. Toilet. I know toilet water is Udu Toilet, which is a basic, basic bitch French fragrance, but this just says toilet. <laughs> a while ago, an intruder entered Takrakoop Village, a temple. Have you seen them pass by? I totally have, because it was totally me. You have? They went that way. Well, that got rid of him, right? Like, Udu Toilet, like, ew, toilet. That's a really good item, then, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Wait, we know there's no... These statues? Hmm. Just go to where the gem is? Now she's not commenting on it at all. Oh, yeah, this one's weird. What the hell? This is the high priest, but... He's been turned to stone. Hard as a rock, baby. All statues will come to life, right? What could have done this? <laughs> and or some... Yeah, but, but will they fuck them before or after they come to life? The answer is yes. What could have done this? Is there anyone who'd get ticked off if you found this jadeite stone? Yeah, there is, but... They shouldn't have been able to find me here. 
If they can turn someone to stone, they probably can track you anywhere you go. That's wonderful to know, Gray. I, I definitely needed to know that information. <laughs> but why would they petrify the High Priest? He's not even involved in this. So you're the kind-hearted type, huh? What? Hey, take a look. He's not dead yet. Mars, is something wrong? Your face is turning red. Never mind me. You were just saying the High Priest is alright? What is going on here? Yeah, my spiritual powers are stronger than yours. Now if I... <laughs> That's because I'm a vegan! Now, if I just get a hold of his consciousness, we might learn how to break the spell. I have items in my inventory that could get... Cure somebody's stone. I don't know. Give me to R Ruby. Free me, please. Ruby, that's a different anime. I understand. The Gemitus Ruby. Legit farts, not like fake farts. Like, legit farts. The Ruby's what's keeping him in this state. Of course! I felt evil energy coming out of this temple. It was from the Ruby. An evil gem with the power to turn someone to stoned. Or get them really, really stoned. <laughs> yeah, everybody farts, right? Ah, what's going on? It just went through her? That's totally normal. That's the Ruby of Damocles. Oh, oh, we're fighting something. Hyper... Damn, he got hella arms! Fuck mm -mm -mm. off, buddy! Guys fight, girls farts, six-armed deities fart. If it has an asshole, it probably farts. Dookie nookie some soupy oopy. Gives farts a lot. I get ointment. Yay. We did it. Now that the monster's been destroyed... The monks under its control are back to normal. Eh, 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 eh. Think you saved the day, huh? Think again. Who's there? My name is Nuggle. On behalf of Anshar, I've come to wipe you. Out. Why did you pause for a so long? Ew. <laughs> Why did you do something so horrible? I was just testing whether or not you were worth my time. Looks like you passed the test. Time for the real deal. And I'll start with you. Ow, my balls. Ugh. Phaleg! Forget me, you need to take her down. But avenge my balls. I'll be fine. You have to defeat her. Shut up. Oh, my face. My face and my balls! Gah! It definitely looked like she went for his nuts. Phobos, Deimos, protect Phaleg! Damn these ravens! Get out of my face! This dead weight is mine! You want him back? Come to Krita Yuga! No way! Way! Phobos, Deimos, Phaleg! That's so raven. Ah, the Gemidus Ruby. Yeah, it did its Chrono Trigger thing. What in the fuck? Hey, oh, yeah, oh, oh, some girl here. High Priest! High Girl! <laughs> you were the one who released me, were you not? I didn't do that, ew! Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I got you out of the rock thing. I am at last free of those evil thoughts. You have my gratitude. Yo, I don't want to hear about your evil thoughts, all right? The last old man I ran into in a different chapter, he had plenty of evil thoughts, okay? You keep your evil thoughts to yourself. If I can do anything in return, just say the word. Krita Yuga. Where is Krita Yuga? Ah, Krita Yuga is the name of the temple ruins near Yaga Village. Of course, as Yaga is a rune itself, the temple's location is difficult to determine. 
In ancient times, Krita Yuga was a place of worship for a god named Jadeite. Only these days. Way. Did you just say that Yaga is a ruin? How could that happen? I was just there. Oh, my child. No, Yaga has been like this for well over 50 years. What? Do you still plan on going to Krita Yuga? Yes, I have to. If that's the case, then please take this. Received a sacred token. Great, I could play skee-ball. North of the Yaga Runes is a cave. They say Krita Yuga's entrance is hidden within. The path has never been particularly safe. Tread with care. So wait. It's a ruin, but I was there, and there were people. Ah, right, that's weird. Were they all Katsune? <laughs> I don't want to know about getting into her entrance. Uh, there's places on the internet for that. I'm gonna win so many tickets in Ski Ball now. Wait, actually, let me see what that actually does. Oh, wrong button. I thought it might be in rare items or something, but. Oh, that's how you. Alright, hold on. Where is it? I'm not seeing this token. Oh, there it is Sacred Token. Token for my pre oh, so it's just a key item. All right, I found it eventually. Ooh. 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 It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. games it's completely empty the plot thickens that is actually interesting it's like a dragon quest twist I should probably go in there where the elder guy was he was definitely not alive I guess The high priest was right. What happened? Clearly you've been smoking something fucked up that you found on the ground, right? Empty, just like the rest. Oh yeah, Terranigra kinda did that. <gasps> Elder! Lady Mars. This village was merely an illusion. Yeah, no shit. This village was resurrected for you, baby. What? Just for me? Yeah, don't you like it? Don't you appreciate it? I went through all this trouble. <laughs> Wait, does that mean everyone here was a ghost? Yes, from a living being's point of view, you could say that. Was Phaleg a ghost too? Ah, Phaleg. He was a bit different from us all. Go to the Northern Cave. There you will find your road to victory. Wasn't that an Akari Warriors game? Elder, wait! He's gone. Wait, what about those boxes? Why? Ruby bracelet. Ruby tiara. All right, we got some equipment upgrades here. The song's kind of good, though. All right, that's a pretty good boost. Well, it's a small boost, but it's a, several stats. Big boost to evade. Uh, let's see. That's a better boost. Ah, uh, she doesn't seem to realize she's psychic, otherwise... Well, then again, that guy did say my psychic power is more powerful than yours. Mmm, -hmm. yes. Alright, let's go find this cave. Game Sen. 
video games! Internet! Wow, we're doing 400 of them now. Remember when we were doing 12? I got another puzzle piece. She's a Miko Shrine Maiden. She doesn't dress the part. <laughs> huh. That'd be cool if it actually was in this game, right? If you want a game where you play as a Shrine Maiden, you gotta go for, like, Pocky and Rocky. Hmm. 420, blaze it. Literally, because fire. No. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you don't see that in this game, though. Here we are. Okay, so I do have notes here that say to get to level 16 in this cave. So, yeah. Kaa! Phobos, you're alright! Kaa! 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 You know where Phaleg is? Lead the way! Kaa! The bird's legitimately following me. Alright, let's get some levels. Fuck out of here. Got a loss to drop and a puzzle piece. Oh, yeah, you might be right on that one, Gray. Two loss to drops and a puzzle piece and level the fuck up! Rune Raiders. That's what they're called. Yeah. Two loss of drops. Fuck out of here. Yeah. My level 13, yeah. A Catholic school? I didn't even, I didn't even know they had Catholic schools in Japan. <laughs> That's, uh... I didn't even know they had Catholics in Japan. Like, are there really enough Catholics in Japan f to for there to be, like, actual Catholic schools? Catholic you can't escape from Catholicism as she'll follow you even into Japan, huh? She's not even Catholic. She's very clearly Shinto hmm. Level the fuck up Well Shinto is more of a specific way of practicing Buddhism, right? I could be wrong on that, but There's a lot of overlap, I think. Blammo! Damn, getting mad hella ass puzzle pieces. She just goes because it's a good school. She's like... <laughs> oh, man. I go to the school, my parents made me go. They said it's a good school, but they keep trying to teach us about things like transubstantiation. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Level the fuck up. Is it level 16? No, it's level 15. One more level. All right. She chose it for herself because it's an all-girls school. And that's like when you know you have good parents and they let you pick what, like, basic bitch school. Not, not even what college, but, like, you get to choose what school, right? Like, I want to go here because it's all-girls. Sure, cool. It seems that there's a lot of differences between the manga and the anime in terms of characterization, according to what you're telling me.
<laughs> Get over it, bitches! Bunch of intolerant gaijin. Oh damn, her parents are just shitters like that, huh? This is the Duke of Nukem saying this. It seems like, yeah, a lot of characterization changes. I'm gonna find out, like, yeah, in the manga, Sailor Moon's a guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Alright, let's... We're level 16 now. Ah, oh, okay. Just a safe point in a corner. Moogle, that's... I have really long hair and I've never had that happen. Clearly you don't know how to... <laughs> you don't know how to put headphones on. <laughs> oh, which way? Uh, let's try... Let's try left. Moogle, like, are, are you the kind of guy that, like, just sits on his balls sometimes? You know, you just sit down and you're like, ah, I sat on myself. <laughs> Does that happen to you, like, a lot? <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure you I've seen you on camera. Your hair is not as long as mine, so I don't know how you're having those problems. Then again, you got like that fro going, so maybe that's why. Alright, oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> There's a big difference between has had sex, definitely, and might not even know what it is. It's grown long, what, in the few months since? So yeah, I, yeah, I get that, but. I'm just saying, I have really long hair, and I've never had that problem. Alright, so we're going this way now. Another split path. Hello, Ken! We're finding out that it's it's not Moogle, it's Poodle. You need to get sheared. I noticed there is like a Tanya level graphical error that happens in like most battles. I'll try and explain it when I come into that kind of enemy again. Of course, this, it won't be relevant here. It's got to be a crowded screen of enemies. Oh yeah, I could definitely see him doing that. Ah, shit, here we go. I'm like... <laughs> What's wrong? Ah, car! Isn't that a dead end? Can't you see the outline of a door there? Ah, the High Priest token is shining. Raise the Sacred Token? Mm, yeah, I'll do it. The Sacred Token is pretty handy! Heart emoji! I'm in love with the token! They use that heart emoji for, like, everything. What's going on? A path opened up. No shit. Right, let's see what's over here, though. 
Maybe this loops around back to that other place. Okay, so watch, so this is what I'm talking about, right? Watch the damage numbers for this guy. They'll actually be behind this dude. You see what I mean? Actually, they're not even behind that dude. That's not, that, man, that is such a Tanya level error. Like, we have reached Tanya level of errors. Oh, that does loop around. Okay, cool. It's like part of the own, like part of its sprite, like is is covering the damage numbers. Like it's like right around here, like this part of the sprite is covering damage numbers. Let me see if it happens to the lower one, because it definitely happens to the upper one. No, it only happens to the upper one. That's so weird. But it's not a place where the sprites are overlapping. That's weird. Like that's the kind of shit that would happen in Tanya's games all the time. In the good ones, you wouldn't see it because we would catch it and fix it. But... You have reached the save point. Would you like to save the game? Why, yes! That's the perfect amount of pepper! I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Hmm. I'm looking around. Octave and Cyrene. There's some new enemies. It is kind of fuck shit, though. You're right. Got another alarm clock. I clearly have to go in the middle, so I'm clearly putting that off. You know. Hadouken! Wash in the soup bowl! Ooh! <laughs> Wash in that soup bowl. Ah, oh, I was hoping there'd be something hidden back here. Burning wave! Level the fuck up. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I didn't reward it that time, at least. I, I I was rewarded with a level up. Octave will ah fuck off. Oh my. Wait, is something down here? Nope! That's a whole lot of nothing. Buster Wolf! I now want a Fatal Fury RPG. I mean, there was a Samurai Showdown RPG. Why not, right? It's a bronze statue of Jadeite. He really was considered a god here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe. Now that I think about it, Fate Lake and Jadeite do look similar. Whoa, getting awfully breezy here. Oh, it's the bird, never mind. No, not for Fatal Fury. They're, like, Samurai Shodan has one, it's just not. Ooh. Ba -ba -ba. That was a badass song right here. Even the Samurai Showdown one hasn't been fan translated yet. Geese. Of course it should, right? Mm -hmm. This music reminds me very strongly of Breath of Fire 1. Wait, what's out here? Yeah, this is very Breath of Fire 1 vibes. Who composed this? Hold on.
Mm-mm. our Awasara. I guess that's the guy from the anime, huh? You done any other video games? Oh, a few. He did Tales of Eternia. He does music for the Japanese version of Sesame Street. Or, well, did. He died, like, 15 years ago, but... Okay! Yeah, let's go up these stairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you made it here in one piece. Well, it wouldn't be any fun if you had it. There's nothing to get in our way here. Let's fight. Why do I have to fight you? I just want Feyleg. So, you want a reason to fight? Fine. Yo, can you imagine, like, Japanese Big Bird? For some reason, I think that would be amazing. I took what you've been looking for. Cheatite's Lightstone! Alright then. After all, this stone's the reason I came to Nepal. So we gonna fight or what? One more thing. Is Feleg okay? I'll tell you if you can defeat me. Fine. Let's do this. Yeah, One Piece? That's a different show. Nurgle! She's also like 75% leg. Okay. Alright, well... Yeah. Let's do this one. Ah! Because a little mushroom cloud and she's dead. <laughs> Take the vaccine! Huh! I got a moon shard. A shard of the moon, damn. I can evolve my wiggly tough. Ah, oh, I underestimated you. Don't count your chicks before they're hatched, though. Eggs! It's eggs! What is wrong with you? What is this, the Japanese version of Biff Tannen? Next time I'll be stronger than your damn sailor soldiers. Next time. I'll catch you next time, Sailor Mars. Next time. Who's there? Who called my name? Nurgle. I am Shaman Apsu. Well, spit it out. What do you want? I have heard your voice. It's super fucking annoying. The voice whispering within the confines of your heart. Just regular Big Bird? So he's not like a different color or nothing? Within my heart? You have always craved power. Have you not? I... And you have also dreamed to surpass the strength of the sailor soldiers. Correct? How did you... I understand everything. I can offer a power to rival that of theirs. You would really tell from these voices I've never seen the show. Why am I floating and glowing? What the hell is this? I'm overflowing with power! This couldn't be. It is, as I said, a power to rival the sailor soldiers's. Fair enough. It had lain dormant within you. I need it but to draw it out. I have this kind of strength. Strength. This is merely the beginning. Should you come to my side, you would even be able to battle the sailor soldiers. Battle them? Prove your power in combat against them. Yes. I'll do whatever you want. Here, a deal's a deal. You got Jade Ice Lightstone. We'll meet again, and then we'll see who comes out on top. Accidental innuendo. That's why you have to watch out for freezing. Sailor Mars, don't you dare lose to anyone before I can defeat you. Remember this, you are my prey. Yeah, where's the guy and the other bird? Wait, where's Feleg? To hell with Deinos, I guess, right? Can't believe you're still concerned about him. He's on the dais further in. See ya! 
She clearly doesn't give a fuck about the other bird. Caw, caw, caw! Deimos! I forgot you existed! You're alright, I was so worried. Ugh. Oh, there was this boy, he just pushed you out of my brain. Felix! You pushed one of my birds out of my brain! There's only so much room in there. Hey, wake up! Please open your eyes! If you're still alive, say something! Anything! Why don't you try kicking him in the balls again? Mm hmm? Why do my nuts ache suddenly? Oh, wait, I remember, it's you. Where is this? Hey, what's wrong? Your eyes are all red. Moron! I was worried sick about you. Wow, rescue a guy, call him a moron? This is a true romance, right? He's alive, but he ain't having no kids. Jeez, why'd I even bother? But... I'm so glad you're still alive. No! Forgive me, Mars. My body was never real. I only exist as a soul. You kicked me in the balls earlier, and, you know, I just pretended like it really fucking hurt, but, you know. <laughs> That's a lie! If you were a ghost, I'd be able to tell. I, I didn't feel anything like that at all. You're not a ghost. You're just not. Well, they did say he was different. But it's the truth. Though ghost isn't exactly the right word. The people of Yaga live to protect the temple of Takrakup. Across the centuries, their prayers accumulated. And through them, I took shape. Through prayers? Oh my god, he's made out of hopes and dreams. Yes, they brought me into existence. Among the people protecting the temple, many came from Krita Yuga. Within the walls of Takrakup, they offered their prayers to Lord Jadeite. And those sacred prayers gave me this form. So that's why you look like him. I'm sorry to leave you with these painful memories. I should have told you that sooner. Mars, thank you. I'll never forget what you've done to my balls. Even after I'm gone. And boomers on Facebook were right. Farewell. Feyleg. It really hurts to get kicked in the balls by high heel shoes, by the way. Idiot. Now I can't stop crying. You appear as you please. Then disappear as you please. I hate you so much. Caw, caw. Bird friends. Phobos, Deimos. Thank you for comforting me. It seems like she, she's just shocked that she didn't know about it. You're the best ravens a girl could ask for. Wow, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say on Twitch or like at all. Hey, Ray, come in. Did you find Jadeite's Lightstone? You think I of all people wouldn't find it? Are you okay? Your voice sounds kind of scratchy. It's nothing! The reception here is really bad. I'm returning to Japan soon. Behave until then. Ray, what's re Beep. No sense in moping around. Phobos. Other bird. Let's go home. Cool. <laughs> Nepal's wife. I gotta say it at Duke Nukem. Nepal's wife, I is ass. Goodbye, Feyleg. It looks like Ray's story here is over. Wanna write it down in the diary? Who wouldn't? I guess we're gonna be Jupiter. Is Jupiter stupider? Find out right now. Boy, I'm in the green place. Uh, uh, uh. I think she's in Canada, right? Chapter 2, In Search of the Stones, Sailor Jupiter. This is happy Canadian music, eh? It took me quite a while to get here. Is this really where I'll find the stone Mamoro needs? 
Marine National Park. A national park, huh? Oh my god, what was that noise? That was Amethyst Corn! Kick you for the host. I'm playing Little Girl Superhero the video game. A national park, huh? I wonder if they have a tire swing. How's it going, Amethyst? Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's getting late. Have you seen my mates? Ma, tell me when the boys get here. It's seven o'clock and I want to run. All right, no. It's getting late. I should get back to this tomorrow. Get back to what? Staring into the lake? So, what do I make for dinner? I thought she was on a mission. She's like, hmm. Damn eats, though. I heard the poutine is excellent. Bet these streams are full of trout. I can make a yummy shiyaki. Hello, Gibsy Noodle. Nice. Good to have a day off, right? Whoa, okay, we're teleporting over here now. She did catch a fish. I don't think she has any fishing equipment. She probably just, like, went into the stream and started kicking. You know, until she fucking nailed a trout in the face. Now she's eating the motherfucker. Come here, Gibbsy. Say hi to everybody. Come here. Come here, puppy. Come on. Really? Really? You gonna do me like that? You gonna do me like that? Come here. Give me that con. Give me the con. Give me the con. Okay. All right. Don't give me the con. Gibbs. Come on, man. What are you doing? They can't see you over there. Come on over here. Gibbs, you gotta get out of there, dude. I want Gibbs to say hi to everybody, but he'd be in a... A, a pain in the ass. Come on, come on up here. Come on, come on. Oh, he's a good boy. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were able to see him. He was very reticent there. All right. Back to the video game. Whoa. Uh, she doesn't move. She just teleports, right? Maybe that's how she got the fish. Who's there? Hi. Sorry, I smelled something good and followed my nose. Oh, wait, he's Canadian. Sorry, I smelled something good and followed my nose, see? Huh? You're hungry? Have a seat. I don't mind sharing. Really? Oh, sure, that's great. Boy, this dude got hella hair. This guy looks just like the upperclassman who broke my heart. Heart emoji. Wait a minute. Okay, so let me ask y'all a question, right? Is every one of these solo chapters gonna have some boy that they fall in love with? Kind of, but not really. Because, wow. It's like, notice my fish, senpai! She says what about every single day? Oh, she says that about it? Oh, so every guy is senpai? Alright. Ah, oh, my face! This is the best fish I've ever had in my life, hard- Oh, this is the best fish I've ever had in my life, hard emoji. Nobody in these parts can cook half as good as this. My hoose isn't that far from here, but my stomach is rumbling something fierce. Gotta remember that he's Canadian. Also, I just want to mention this guy is literally sitting on nothing. Like, she's in the particular sitting, right? And there's like a log there. He's like sitting on nothing. There's nothing there. You- you live here? But this is a national park. Uh-huh. Anyway, are you a tourist? Not quite. Name's Jupiter, and I'm looking for a stone called Nephrite. If I don't get it, a friend of mine might not make it. Oh, yeah, magic rocks. I get it. I think I've heard of it before. Really? Someone at the village might know. Village? You never heard of a village? You really are new to Canada. Yeah, I'm not supposed to tell you, but I live here in Metis Village. Wait a minute. Is this that one M. Night Shyamalan movie? You know, the one that really, really sucked? Where they had, like, a village in the middle of a national park, and they were pretending like it was the 1800s? That movie sucked. It's a quiet little hamlet hidden here in the trees. And because of that, the average person usually can't make it that far. Yeah, the village, exactly. It was literally called the village. Everybody in the village has one of these pendants, which lets him go out into the forest. 
Extremely sus, but go on. And it just so happens I've got a spare. Go on, take it. Do not accept magical jewelry from this fucking weirdo just because he looks like the boy you like it back home. Wow, really? Ah, oh, she's going to do it. Yeah, consider it a thanks for your delicious cooking. You got tree pendant. All right, you got it on? Good. With that, you can enter the village. I didn't know Canada was so magical. Now, follow good old George up to Matus. My god, his name is George. Wait, we should probably put out that fire. Ah, never mind forest safety. Fuck that shit, huh? Welcome to my hometown. You can stay at my house while you're here. Oh, I'm gonna get started on looking for that Nifrite in our archives. Later. Follow the only road. Follow the only road. The only road in Canada. Wait. Is the fire still there? I'm very concerned about forest fires right now. Smokey the Bear is going to kick my fucking ass. Right, it's gone. It's gone. We're good. All right. Smokey the Bear is like, Bitch, I said only you could prevent forest fires. I'm going to take a bite of him and snatch that ass right off. Like, what the actual shit? All right, let's look around. I'm not seeing village here, I'm seeing road. I'm seeing trees and... Oh, there's a bridge, that's a sign of civilization. Wait, wait, are they hobbits? They live in trees? What? They're the Keebler Elves. This is a dungeon. I can tell from the music. You were Snap, Crackle, and Pop at? Oh, here's somebody. Very talkative. I thought people were pleasant in Canada. What the fuck was that? Yo, they pushed the beds together. Somebody's having a baby. <laughs> oh, Mabel, let's push the beds together today and try and have another. Did you see that tree in the middle of the village? It's called the Protection God. But some creepy monsters made it their nest, eh? If anybody was going to climb inside and return alive, they'd be a hero. That is, Yeah, that was clearly the Deku tree. There's spiders in there now. You played a character that gained sanity from fire? <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires or start them. The important thing is you know you have options. Hey, look, oranges. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> those gut those gosh darn monsters are stealing all our maple syrup. Eh? Okay, okay. I know you're joking, Sarah, but there was an actual news story out of Canada. There was a major maple syrup heist that happened recently. It was dogey all along. We sure as shoot don't want that chick from the other village around here. She probably just wants the chief's fortune, and she ain't getting any of it. Yeah, apparently, um... Because, like, okay, so... Canadians are not as crazy about maple syrup as you might think they are. Like, they, they make... The vast majority of the world's maple syrup, but they export 60% of it to the United States alone. Uh, so what's interesting is that it's a, it's a really important part of their economy. So all the excess maple syrup, because maple syrup doesn't really go bad. It's basically pure sugar made from tree sap, right? So they they had all this excess maple syrup that was stored in this warehouse. And some, some, some bros came through. And stole something like $300,000 worth of pure maple syrup. So now they have like this whole security system in place for the maple syrup. And actually they've been using those stores recently because of COVID, so. Hey there, girly, you need any help? I don't appreciate being called girly. Who the fuck are you, Wendy? Where the hamburgers at? Have you been to the chief of Medis' house? I can't say I have. Make sure to say hi to everybody in there, eh? Wow, she really is Canadian. I didn't have to add that A. It was literally part of the sentence. Canada, eh? Oh, wait. Okay, so this is an item shot. Let me see what kind of accessories I got. All right. I got an earring and... Oh, and a tiara. All right. I'll probably find some better stuff here, though. Okay, they were like, Canada, eh? Welcome. Rice ball, box, lunch. Wow, the money really does carry over. Holly berry. Okay. okay. I need that anklet, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What level is she, anyway? 
She is level six. We're gonna have to get that up at some point. Wait, you got healing items and shit. Let me let me buy the shits. Mm -hmm. hmm. You get like a bunch of these. We get like a gang of box lunch, just in case. Where Terrence and Philip at? <laughs> Wait, I keep walking out when I want to go over here. Oh, this is the inn, ain't it? Yeah. Write a diary entry? Who wouldn't? Hmm, where'd you come from? Japan! You, you from Mishi? You better start explaining yourself. I said Japan. I've never even heard of Mishi before. Oh, right, gotcha. That guy got calmed down real quick. So you better explain yourself, Missy. Oh, okay, yeah, you never heard of it. That's cool. Did you, oh, I already talked to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, stop, stop, child. All right, Macaulay Culkin, leave me alone. Go back to the page master. So where are they? Where is this dude's house that he's like, you could stay at my house? Let's see if there's anything on this side. Yes, I remember the page master. I had the Game Boy Color game. Never seen you before. How the heck you find this village? Oh, you've got a pendant. Welcome to Medis, girl. You're looking for a stone cold Niff, right? I think I might have heard of it someplace before. I didn't even know it was a book. I knew it was a movie about book. I had the Game Boy game, so <laughs> that's, that's, that's my experience with the Page Master. Yeah, strangers are fine, just if you're from that one village. Maybe they have like a rival football team. <laughs> I just heard of that now from you. Oh, wow, you sure got a lot of uh, talent. Dude, stop checking out the teenage girl. Oh, Jesus Christ. Herbert's everywhere in this game. Wow, two floors, swanky. Oh, here's the guy. I'll give you the nephrite. I'll give the nephrite stone a search. Fantastic, you're doing a bang up job. That boy of mine, soul set and seeing that girl from Mishy. <laughs> Ain't a snowball's chance in hell I'll ever let that happen again. So, what is your problem with Mishy? What are they? They smell bad, rival football team. They think their maple syrup's better than your maple syrup. Their poutine ain't shit. More talent. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, hey, this is Canada, right? Can we see a Rush show? This took place in the 90s. Neil Peart was still alive. They're, they're probably, like, touring for, like, I don't know, like, Presto or uh, Roll of the Bones or something. Let's fucking go there. Fuck the fucking plot. Let's go see a Rush concert. Got a little a rush? A salesman? A salesman! <laughs> Jeez, the girls in this town sure are snooty. I noticed that none of the women want to talk to me. They're all like, Ugh, get out of here with your big boobs. <laughs> it's because you snared George into marrying you. Whoa! Okay, man. You know the saying, give a man a fish and you're fucking married to him. Holy crap. Huh? You've got it all wrong, lady. George is cool and all, but I just met him. I can't marry him. That's just... <laughs> so I guess he's still after her, huh? Who's her? George has a girlfriend? Yeah, down for some rush, right? Yeah, you give away a fish, and all of a sudden you're married to some dude, as is tradition in Canada. Yeah. Eh, I guess I'm out of luck again. Hey, can you tell me more? The chief doesn't want to let them get together, but won't tell anybody why. Clearly because she's from the evil village of assholes. <laughs> you know, you never told me this mystery girl's name. Uh, she's from our sister village, Mishy. Name's Mary. 
She's the daughter of Mishi's chief. It's just refuting with the other village. Something about hockey. I don't fucking know. Looks like George and Mary's love might be hopeless. That's terrible. Knowing all that, I feel like I gotta try and help them. Do not get involved. You've got to find the rock thing to save the world, remember? The other girls in town feel the same way. But we don't know what to do. Oh, I'm just walking away from you now. Okay, cool. This is happening, right? Alright. Wait, maybe I should go back and talk to him again. Now that I know about his uh, secret lover in the, uh, the other village. Hey. What? Mary, I've known her for about three years. Things between Metis and Mishi ain't so hot, though. It'd be great if we could make up, but, you know... Where's Mishi from here? Well, it's off to the east, but... Wait, you're not thinking of going there, are you? Yep, I'm gonna help you two out if it's the last thing I do. This is a serious role-playing game, right? Just sit tight! We're playing matchmaker for green-haired dudes. Alright. Well, they said east, right? Sometimes I wish George had a bitter head on his shoulders. What's wrong with the head he's got? You got a problem with green hair? Wait, somebody down here. The fish from Marine Lake are really tasty. You get a chance to try them yet? Yeah, I, I uh... Well, I was trying to eat a fish, but then this dude came along. It's a whole thing, right? Yeah, he's his, his mostly hair. King Gizzard? I've heard of Electric Wizard, but I've never heard of King Gizzard. Electric Wizard's like a like a like a stoner sort of like doom metal band. I don't know what King Gizzard is though. Everyone here really loves Miri, you know, but every other broad from Mishi can't stand him. Well, that hockey rivalry sure is serious business. I'm just gonna assume it's a hockey rivalry, right? Like, why would I assume otherwise? This is Canada. What else are they gonna fight about? Wait, so he's, he did say east, right? I'm not seeing a... Unless I'm just supposed to walk into the trees at some point. Let me just double check. He, I thought he said east. We're gonna walk over to him at ludicrous speed! Alright. So, you're really gonna go see Mary? You now there's something about Mary. I guess you're not gonna tell me... I gotta find everybody to go to the east. Oh, uh, you don't want spoilers for a game from like five console generations ago. <laughs> Here we go. We found a way to go. East Mishi Village, West Metis Village. All right. Now my notes do say get to level 12 as soon as I can fight enemies. So that's probably right here. What level is she, six? Yeah. The only road. Follow the only road. Follow the only road. Follow, 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 follow. Here we go. Atsugesho and Furaki. All right. Let's see what kind of abilities we got. Let's go with this. Cyclone Coconut. Yeah. Oh, my body. Yeah, oh, it smells bad. Yeah, we got to level up. Oh, God. Uh, do this one. Supreme Thunder! There we go. Orange Julius and Ointment. It's King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? They're like the Flaming Lips. I like the Flaming Lips. Did a weird progressive indie rock, you know? Sparkling wide pressure! Words! Oh, damn. Oh, damn! That was like one more hit point than I had. Alright, I'll go back to my save. I'm gonna throw all kinds of words at these MFs. Ripper Rooney. I'm glad I saved it. 
Yeah, level six is very weak. We have to, but like when you level, you level up quickly in this and oh God, that was terrible. That was the wrong ability and I'm dead. All right, I is not the one I wanted to use. Let's try that again. Fucking rest and pepperonis. This one. Coconut! Why is that so bad? It did fine before. Oh, dead. All right. Yeah, Ripper Rooney. All right. So, there was an inn back there, right? Wait, wait. I, fuck going back to the inn. I got healing items. I got hella healing items. I bought so much of this shit that I'm never going to use unless I use it, right? Oh, I didn't actually use it. There we go. Nah, no rage quitting for me. I have played tough for RPG. Like, once you level up, like, once or twice, you rip through enemies, I've noticed. Because, like, this was happening in the last chapter, where, like, I was doing 12 damage. I went up, like, three levels, and I was doing hundreds of damage. Alright, uh, do this. Pressure washer! Ah! Uh, you dirty, I'm gonna wash you! Oh, my body! Uh, uh, just throw hands, feet. Well, fuck. All right, don't do that. Let's try loading that. Oh, no, I can hold hella items. It's just... Look at all these items I got. It's just one of those games where you're, like, kind of weak at first. But once you get, like, one or two levels, you know, it happened in the last chapter quite a bit. Oh no, my brains! I'm going to get you lucky charms. That's fine, do that. I'm not too concerned with that. Especially since it keeps missing. Ah, oh, my body! Damn! Ripper Rooney. Alright. I gotta get lucky and get, like, one enemy or something, you know? Wait, did I equip the other... I just realized something. No, I, d I got everything equipped. Yeah, she's immune to, uh, farts. Especially if Gibbs farts, right? I wish I was immune to his farts. The noodle for- Ah, oh, here we go. His one enemy. Alright. Dirty! Why is that only doing ten all of a sudden? It was doing more before- Alright, try this one. Eight! I swear I was doing more damage before. Let's try attacking. Ugh, kick. Wow, that's bad. Come on, give me, like, one level up. I'll feel much better if I get, like, one level up. Yeah, keep doing that. It doesn't seem to ever work. My hit points are staying steady at Nintendo 64. Kick. Ow, oh, my body. Kick. I'm only 16-bit now. Kick. All right. Clearly, we have hit one of those points where we have to be really, really careful. Hmm. I mean, I can use items in battle, but there's not much of a point like healing 40 damage and then taking 40 damage in the same turn, you know? I don't know why it is that none of my attacks are doing anything. Let me just try this. In that first battle that I won, I seemed to be doing kind of okay damage, and then nothing after that. Fuck out of here. Oh, that was decent. How come I did 20 before I was getting 10? Kick. Oh, God damn it. Alright, let's try an item and see if maybe... I don't know, it'll do the poison thing and not hit me. See what I'm talking about? 69! Lewd. Kick. 
Got it. All right. Please level up. Got a puzzle. Be hey, level the fuck up. All right. Rune in the bad company. Bad company. I can't deny. Bad, bad company. Oh, wait. You heal from level up. Till the day I die. Oh, yeah. All right. Because we want to gain to level 12. But watch the difference, Amethyst. Check this out. Watch the difference in damage now. I'm going to use the same, like, attack. You see what I'm talking about? Now I'm doing 45. I was doing maximum 20 before. And you're dead. You also level up fairly quickly. Yeah. Fuck out of here. I said, fuck out of here. Ugh. Hold this! I was hoping I would level up there. Alright, I should heal again. What I want to know is why are there, like, Japanese monsters in Canada? You know what I'm saying? I mean, Atsugesho? That's not... That's not Canadian. Should probably just... Constantly spam this. Especially that I could do it twice now. Maybe the Canadians called them something... Oh, yeah! So she's like, That's an Atsugesho! And George is like... We just call them tree fuckers, eh? They fuck trees? No, they look like trees, and they sure are fuckers, aren't they? Level the fuck up. <laughs> Gotta fold them clothes. And yeah, now we're doing 50 damage. Dead. Man, I'm getting hella puzzle pieces. Let's see how the puzzle's doing. Well, it's starting to come together. Oh. Oof. I wonder if she's, like, legit immune to poison, though. Because she has yet to get hit by the poison attack. What level am I now? Eight? Yeah, we want to get to, what did I say, twelve? I said twelve, yes. Now. Yeah, it keeps missing her. I wonder if that's like a passive thing that she has where she can't get poisoned or something. Got me an ointment. Level the fuck up. Hey, somebody's got to fold it, right? I just realized that thing on her back is a bow. I thought it was like a backpack or something, but it's a bow. I thought she had like a little little backpack. Yeah. If you want it folded, generally speaking, yes. I mean, if you don't want it folded, then I would consider it a waste of time. They all have bows in the back? Yeah. If you want your laundry not folded, then I wouldn't recommend folding it. I would only recommend folding clothes if you actually want them to be folded. <laughs> okay. Self-folding laundry would actually be kind of frightening in a way. Your cat lays on the laundry basket and it starts folding itself and the cat's like... Meow, meow. Hashtag facts. Come on, give me more experience points. What do you call those? Oh, we call them assholes. <laughs> I'm of the just throwing shit around mentality as well. They're literally giving me eight experience every battle, and that is not. We call them furikai. We call them assholes. 
They're real jerks. Level the fuck up. Two more levels. Hadouken! Okay, now I'm doing 90 damage. Annihilating everything. Yeah, I lived in a trailer myself at one point. It was a nice place, but... God, my landlord was a shitter. Just after a while, he just decided he wasn't going to fix anything ever. And the place is basically falling apart, and he wouldn't fix anything. It was nice for a while, though. You know how I feel about landlords. Can we get some, like, multiple enemies? There we go. Oh, you owned it? Nice. For some reason, light bulbs would go out after, like, a week. A lab indeed, right? A lab indeed. I mean, campers you can live in. There's nothing wrong with that. They're small, but you know this was very small too. Level the fuck up. All right, what am I eleven now? One more level, and then actually I'll probably like try to get to the next save point, and then stop. I mean, but this, I wasn't talking about, like, like, I don't know how to fix certain things. Like, I would just, like, some suddenly just, like, not have hot water. That happened a lot. Water heater went on me once. Um, it was always a fucking problem, you know? And I certainly paid enough rent, but the fucking guy just, after a while, which coincidentally happened to be right around when Lord Dampnot got elected... Just decided he wasn't fixing nothing. Is it me of the battles in this chapter give a lot less experience than previous chapters? I don't know, I'm just gonna like keep going a bit and see if I can get stronger enemies maybe. I just keep either getting one of these fuckers or the other fucker or both fuckers together. Now oh, there's the vi other village. Which, all right, I want to gain this last level then I'll find the save point in that village and uh, we'll stop. I want to do Raiden. Do a raid and whatnot. And we'll continue this chapter next time. Hmm. Oh, I learned something interesting, and this is for the um, LGBTQ people in the chat. Um... Does anybody remember a YouTuber who was called the LJN Defender? Did all these videos about old games and kind of just stopped doing anything after a while. Uh, there was one channel and then it just kind of stopped. And uh, then there was a second channel and that didn't last very long either. There were some really cool videos about taking like infamously bad games and putting them on trial and seeing whether they were innocent or guilty of actually being terrible. Anyway, um, apparently... That person is a trans woman now. Still doesn't do YouTube, but I found out... I was like, I wonder what I have to this person, and I found, like, their last video on... Um, it was the level up I wanted on YouTube, and I went in the comment section, and, uh, I mentioned it, really. I might have, I forget. And, and there were people like, oh, man, like, this person's all political on Twitter now. And 
I looked it up, and she, because they are she, uh, I wouldn't say political, but you know how these fucking gaming chuds are. Where's the end? Here it is. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. That's one I definitely didn't see coming. I see it coming a lot. I didn't see that one coming. But good for her. Welcome to Mario Kart! Okay, guys. So I'm also gonna make a save state. This has been fun. We got through a lot of a lot of content in this game today. Like we got through two whole ass chapters and part of this one as well, you know. So pretty cool shit. Because we did the Mercury chapter. Well, I guess they're not. They're all parts of chapter two, right? But we got the Mercury part. We did that. We did the Mars part, and now we're on Jupiter. Hello, Gibbsy Noodle. You wanna come say goodbye to everybody? Come on, come say goodbye to everybody. Come on. Up. Come on up. Come on. Come on. He's getting his bone to show you guys. Come on up. Say goodbye. Come here. Come here, buddy. Why are you being all shy? Let me just... Who's your Gibbsy Noodle? Who's your Gibbsy Noodle? Gibbsy Doge. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Let me go over the schedule, and then we're going to do a raid. So guys, stick around for the raid. Don't go anywhere just yet. Tomorrow afternoon, I will be playing... A really sweet game, Dragon Quest Three: The Seeds of Salvation, for this Super Famicom. We had left off with finishing the the Pyramid of Isis, which is uh, we got we got the magic key out of there, and then we also did the Golden Claw, which is an optional part. We did that, so we're all done with the Temple of Isis, and we're gonna move on from there. So that's uh, tomorrow afternoon with Dragon Quest Three and Super Famicom. Saturday night, I'll be returning with more Suikoden 2 on the PlayStation, which is the game where if I angle myself just right, I have fantastic breasts. See? <laughs> As has been pointed out to me by the chat. But anyway, that's uh, that's Saturday night. Uh, Sunday night, we'll be returning with more East 1 and 2 Chronicles Plus on Steam. Of course, continuing East 2. So uh, we'll be continuing on with that. Monday afternoon, we're going to be starting The Last Blade for the Neo Geo, which is a weapons-based fighting game, sort of kind of similar-ish to Samurai Shodown. Like, it looks like a Samurai Shodown game, but it doesn't play like a Samurai Shodown game. Uh, it's definitely a, a smoother experience than Sam Show. So that's, that's Monday afternoon. Tuesday night, we're going to be continuing with more Chasm for Steam. Uh Chasm, we started this last week, and or just the other day, really, and boy, is it a fun game. So I'm really liking this one. Uh, and Wednesday afternoon, we'll be returning with more Pokemon Ruby version for the Game Boy Advance. And then Thursday night, a week from today, we'll be right back here with Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, another story for the Super Famicom. Whoa. All right, Amethyst, I know you're very busy. Uh, let's head over here, and let's do ourselves a raid. A raid. Let's see who we got online. If Charminerd's online still, I want to raid her. I haven't seen her in ages, but she's probably stopped by now. Let's see. Uh... Oh, she is online. Yo. My friend Charminerd is streaming. She used to stream all the time. And then she had some health problems that stopped her from streaming a lot. But she has been back here and there. She is playing Dead by Daylight. Let's go raid her. Okay, guys, there is your raid call. You can copy that, paste it as we head into uh, Charminerd's um, stream. It, the Who's the Pokemon thing, because that's her going live alert. It says, who's that Pokemon? It's Charminerd. So, we, who's that Pokemon? It's Tickles the Bee. Hmm. So, guys, okay, copy that, paste it as we head into Charminerd's channel. I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys on Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon for Dragon Quest Three. And I'll see you around in general. I don't know why I'm singing, but I am. La 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 la. La la la.